Did you know that there are five common mistakes that small business owners make when trying to buy or lease a new property? Hi, my name is Jeff Hurst, owner of North Star Commercial Interiors, and this is first in a five-part series to help small business owners avoid these five common mistakes. Mistake number one is trying to DIY, doing it yourself. So consider this recent horror story and the lessons learned along the way. This was a very successful businesswoman who had just leased a new space. She did all of the research, found a great location, had contacted the landlord, negotiated all of the terms, including a nice tenant improvement allowance, and was ready to get started. After signing the lease, she contacted general contractors and was just blown away by the costs. She found us. We took the time to meet with her to understand her unique situation, provided some ideas to help lower costs and improve the ultimate results, but still the costs were higher and the timelines were longer than either of them had anticipated. Unfortunately, that landlord reneged on the first part of her remodel, so she was never able to even get started. That first rent payment came due, she didn't have a business to open, and so she wasn't able to make her payment. Fast forward. They're now in litigation. She's trying to recover thousands of dollars that she has invested. So what are the lessons learned here? Number one is to hire a realtor. There are far too many variables involved that have direct impact on your success or failure, and they can help you navigate that. Number two is going to sound a little bit self-serving, but hire a trustworthy general contractor. A good contractor is going to take time to sit down with you, to learn about your unique situation, your success factors, they're going to talk with you about your scope of work, help you see around corners and make educated decisions, and they're going to provide you with a budget estimate. Your realtor will take that budget estimate to help negotiate the most favorable terms for you to help ensure your success. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's been helpful. If so, please like it, subscribe to our channel, and share it with someone else. Thanks so much and keep an eye out for part two in our series.